Hey, today I'm going to cover the tech stroke in DaVinci Resolve 16. I'm going to show you how to do it the easy way. I'm also going to show some additional features on tech stroke, how to get more advanced with it, and maybe even some things that advanced users haven't seen before. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm starting in the edit tab here in DaVinci Resolve 16. Make sure that the effects library is selected. Go down to Generators under Toolbox. I'm going to start with just putting a solid color into the background of the entire things. I want to put this background color in there basically so you guys can see what's going on with the text stroke uh, so it doesn't clash with this black. And so I'm going to just create kind of a lighter gray just so we can see what's going on. And I'll build from there. And so now on top of that, I'm going to start with the titles. Go ahead and just add a text in here. Make sure you move the playhead somewhere in the middle of this clip so you can see what's going on up here in the viewing window. Go ahead and select the text. And then we'll go in here and type in a text. Okay, so just type something in here and we'll go ahead and change it to a little bit different. Something a little bit better there. I'm going to go ahead and select a slightly different color here. Let's just do, let's do a yellow color here. And I'm going to size that up just a little bit. And we'll make that a bold so it's a little bit thicker. So we just have a basic text in here. And if we scroll down here, make sure the inspector is selected. Go ahead and go down here to stroke. Here's your color option and here's your size. So if we want to create a black stroke, that is the default. We can just turn this up to whatever you want. That's the really easy way to do it. You can change color, but really that's all you can do here in the text node. So if you want a quick and dirty text, that's the easy way to do it. Go ahead and use that method. To get a little bit more advanced, we'll go ahead and drag a text plus over here. Move my playhead over to that one. And we'll just leave this title in here. So. Let's go ahead and do something a little different. I'm gonna scale this up just a little bit as well. And so you can see we don't have the text stroke in this main window here, but we have these buttons up here at the top. And basically we're gonna to need to go up here to shading. Go ahead and click that button up there. And we have some different shading elements. One is, is for the text here. So let's go ahead and select two. And you can see it says red outline is the name. It's already filled in for you. Go ahead and click this enabled button. And you can see we get a stroke in there and we can change the color to anything we want. Go ahead and we'll make it a dark blue. Go ahead and make this a little bit thicker here. Thickness is here. So you can change that thickness right there. And we can change the line type. We can go to a dashed stroke, a dotted stroke, uh, we can we have some different options here and we also have some options on the image and gradient if we want to add a gradient in there so let's go ahead and do that so you can see this is starting at the bottom it's it's full strength and going to the top I'll go ahead and change these colors just so you can see what's going on make sure that the triangle is selected go ahead and select a color go to the other triangle on the other side and we'll change this one more to a yellow orange color there and so if we get into some of these other properties down here we have a mapping angle um, that we can adjust this gradient to and so we can change this angle and let's go ahead and reset that we can do it by character or we can do it by the full image and so let's just do the full image you can see now that's going to it's going to go around the complete edge there. I'll go a little bit lighter here so you can see what's going on. I'm going to go to character. Same thing. It's just going to cover this or I'm sorry. I'm going to go to word. It'll cover the whole word here. You can see I'm going around this word. So you can animate that. You can see we have the animation tool here as well. Uh, the mapping size, we can change that. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I'll go around. So you can do something like that with your gradient. Give yourself some fancy text here. I can do it again by character. 
So it's going to go on each character as well. So all those things you can animate over time if you want to do that as well. So that's pretty great. I'm going to go ahead now and change this back to a solid. And we'll, we'll keep the blue in there. I'm going to thicken that up just a little bit. Okay, so say I want to add a second stroke around there. I have to add another selection element. And we're going to need to go all the way down to 5 because these other ones are used above there. Go ahead and enable that one. This is kind of a blank element. And we want to make sure that this, basically this text outline is selected. And we have the, the, the color that we want. Let's go ahead and select a black. You can see it's not showing up yet. But what we need to do is thicken this up. So now we have this black kind of around that outside edge. You can see that as a second stroke. And you can see these things get a little bit kind of connected together. So we need to choose the right font that will give us that spacing. Or we can space out the actual font a little bit. We can use the tracking here to do that. If you want to give yourself a little bit more space. Yeah. You can use this on any font that you have. So go ahead and change it. So this gives us a little bit more space with this font. So you can see how, how easy this is to use. I'll go back to the stroke, go back to number two, so we can change in this thickness of the blue. And then correspondingly, I'll have to go to five and thicken that one up. It's basically kind of like a stack. So any of the selection elements on top, say one is going to show first, and then everything below it will show underneath it. So there is a way around that, and I'll show you that here just in a second. But go ahead and we, we'll change this 5 up. And if you need to go over 0.1, you can certainly do that. Say 0.14. Just put, type in any number that you want. And you can go as thick as you need to go. And these, you can animate these as well. So if you want to do some pulsating text or something like that, that can be animated over time. Just by using this, moving it, and then typing in a new number and it'll adjust that automatically for you. Okay, I talked about position. We can go ahead and select a position here. So say we want to move one of these up. So if I want to move the actual black up, I can move it more to the front. And it's just going to slowly overtake each level as we do that. So you don't have to go back and forth and adjust thickness. You can do it that way as well. Um, th these objects can be op offset as well. So if we want to do more of a 3D effect, we can move the, the X around or we can move the Y around to your own liking. And we can also pivot these. So say we want to, actually let's do a rotation. So say we want to drop these down, I can get on this, um, this X value, kind of fold those down. And then let's kind of move that over. So if you want to give it a shadow effect, you can do that. Um, let me go ahead and adjust this offset here to move that up to match. Whoops. So you want to be at the edge there. Obviously with a shadow, it's not going to be that dark. So we would want to use the opacity value and kind of bring that down a bit. And that's a cheap way to do some, some basically some shadowing. Uh, there's a, there's other ways to do that in DaVinci Resolve 16, but just wanted to show you that while we're here in this location. Now let's do a little bit more advanced type um, stroke here. So I'm going to go ahead and put in an effect. Go to the Fusion Composition. Yes, we're going to jump into nodes, but trust me, it's going to be really simple. And everybody out there is going to get this, so please stay with me here. This is very easy to do. Go ahead and have your fusion composition selected. Move your playhead onto that, that actual comp. And let's go to the fusion tab. Okay, once we're in the fusion tab area, all we're going to see is a media out. And so we're only going to add two nodes in here. So we're going to keep it really simple. The first one's going to be this text plus node. Go ahead and add that in there. And I'm going to just type in outline as our text. We'll drag this up into the left window so we can take a look at that. I'll go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. Move that down a bit. That's good. 
And so now what I want to do is, let me move this over. I'll go ahead and connect this into the media out. And so we can see this is going to be our output. So we have a basic text here and we have the same buttons that we have in the editing window. And so we want to go again to this shading. And so the element selection should be set on two, which is this red outline. We'll go ahead and enable that one again. And so we have that red outline. I'll go ahead and thicken that up a bit. Let me go back to element one. Actually, let me go back to the actual text setting. And I want to track this out a little bit so we have a little bit of space. Okay. Let's go ahead and thicken that up even more. Let's go up to point two. Too much. Let's go to point one five. Okay, so that gives us plenty of kind of billboard around these letters here. I just want to really thicken that up so you can see what's going on here. And we'll make these windows a little bit bigger so you can see what's happening. And so the next thing is I have this, this clip here. And it's basically just a transition. I'll go ahead and move that up into the right window so you can take a look. And it's, it's just a circle that's going out into a full green circle and then it goes back into nothing and this is a transparent video you can use whatever you have here and so let's go ahead and go back to the text so I want to match this green color here so when it ends up it's going to be this color so I'll go to pick screen color pick that green hit OK and so this is going to be a match now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the text here and under this Element 2, which is the, the green outline, I want to check the selection type of stroke. I'm going to change that to image. And when I do this, watch this text node right here. Right now it just has this blue triangle. Go ahead and add image. So now we get an additional input into this text node. It's a color image. And we can use this video out into that color image right there. And so now whatever is showing in this video is going to show up as our text stroke. And so you can see at the start, this video has nothing. There's no stroke around the edge. As we re ramp through this, we can see that we get that, that full transition. And this is set up by character. I'm going to change this. And so let's go into by the full image. This will make it look a little bit better. See, that's, that's kind of a cool, cool effect there as well. And so let's go ahead and go back to, let's go full image. Let's go ahead and go back to the edit window because I just want to do this full screen. I'll hit the P key. You can see our outline. These are the other ones we made. So there's the outline. So we get that nice effect of the stroke throughout this, this text input here. So using that video. So that's kind of a cool effect. Um, you might not have seen that before. So hopefully you learned something about text stroke. Uh, we can do it really simply just using the text or we can use the text plus and there's a lot of options that we have including importing video and using that as your actual stroke. So that's pretty nice. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and I'll make some more videos for you guys checking out all the features of Ventures All 16, including some advanced features. If you like the video, also give it a like and tell me how I'm doing in the comments or ask questions and I'll try to get those answered for you. Thanks a lot for watching again. Take care, guys.